Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dine. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. You know, uh, I know neither of us really eat much fast food No, 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 no. Try not to. Try, try not, not to. to. Not going to lie, though. Breakfast Baconator's been calling me. I said the word. It's I calling s- me. <laughs> I said it. Dude, in the- oh my God. Saturday's a great day to get one, too. Shit. Early morning Baconator's. No, Dude, right. okay, for you, I'm not, it, it's funny you bring up Wendy's, because that's what the story is about. All right, all right. If you, oh, yeah. If you've never had a breakfast Baconator, get that shit. Don't but, get it, it's crack. But get it on a croissant or a biscuit. It comes on a hamburger bun, which doesn't do it it's justice. It's disgusting. But it is the worst thing ever for you. They're probably a thousand calories. Yeah, it's, it's literally, it's just like crack. It's egg, sausage, bacon, sliced cheese, and cheese sauce. Hollandaise. On a, it, dude, it tastes it's, like heaven. It's amazing. Anyways, Wendy's had a brilliant idea. So brilliant. It So brilliant it has now been walked back. I'll talk about that as well. Oh yeah, yeah, they walked that itch back. So Wendy's was like, you know what we're going to try? We're going to try surge pricing like Uber. We're going to have live digital menus and the prices are going to change in real time based on demand. It's so stupid. People lost their goddamn mind. It's so and then what they tried to say was, no, no, no. We didn't mean we were going to raise prices. We meant when it was slow, we would lower prices. And surge pricing does not work that way. It does Uber not. doesn't get cheaper when it's slow. They wouldn't call it surge pricing if it yeah. were. <laughs> like Uber has a standard rate and it only gets more based more, on how yeah, busy they are. Yeah. So like, Let me I, yeah, surge price me down then. What would you even call that? Yeah, Splurge pricing? I don't know. Oh. Dead pricing? I don't know. But could you imagine standing in line and like you're at lunch rush and like all of a sudden the baconator goes from like 420 to 460 to 480 to 517 to 545 to 670 it's probably even more than that anyways but i don't even know how much fast food is so insanely i would i would literally i mean i don't ever go really to wendy's wendy's is one fast food place i will eat but i can't even tell you the last time i was there mm-hmm. i would just never go again no if I couldn't have a general idea what something costs, I'm not just going to roll up and all of a sudden my Baconator is $17 because it's busy. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I'll go to McDonald's. No, I won't. I'll go Taco Bell where I know my $2 taco is a $2 taco. That's pretty fair. I don't know, dude. I, I Like, whoever came up with this idea is obviously fired. I, I <laughs> like, I don't even think it's like a terrible idea with a few caveats. I feel like you could easily like make this a good idea. No, I agree. Like if yes, if the prices do come down when it's slow, then yeah, that makes sense because that's going to increase uh, like uh, customers coming into your shop during those slow hours so you know. right like the after lunch rush before dinner rush time like that yeah. two to two to four time where like it's slower like yeah even like that 11 to oh not 11 but yeah, you probably know like before thirty, two o'clock when once people are done with lunch and before people get out of like work yeah or like you know before even before lunch in the early morning sometimes oh, yeah, when they open at 10 before like 11 30 like yeah, or yeah. after after like say six o'clock. If after they open dinner. for breakfast, they probably open at seven o'clock. So I'm thinking like that, like that nine to ten time. Yeah, because people start nine to eleven. Nine, nine to eleven. Whatever. I don't know. Either way, God damn it. You know what else they could do? <laughs> Just set one price for the whole day, and it'll even out. I, I I feel that. Like I wouldn't mind if the price went down during the uh, slow times, and if they had like a cap. On how high the price could get. Like the price could not go above. Like it would be between. Well I don't even know what the price. But say say a Baconator is normally $4. It will never go higher than $5. Or something. Like I don't even know. Oof. That's still 20%. That's a 20%. But, but yeah you, that's I, too much. But, but my <laughs> I guess was going to say hold like on, 10%. I feel like a Baconator. Just the sandwich is like $8 right now. Uh, well, I don't know what the necessarily the price is, but I wouldn't even want a 20% increase in price. I'm saying maybe like a quarter it goes up during the, the surge pricing. But it, it, honestly, the rollout was fucked up completely from the beginning because you can't just like 
you can't just blurt something into the internet and not expect for the internet to take it in the worst way possible. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Just a baconator sandwich is seven thirty nine. Yeah. So you're not gonna take that up to eight. Like even That's if you. Insane. So if you took that baconator and you were like, all right, during surge pricing, it's not seven thirty nine. It's seven fifty. No, nobody's twelve gonna, cents. Yeah, like, nobody's gonna give a shit. That's millions of dollars in revenue for for Wendy's during those uh, those peak hours. Yeah, because across the whole country, you sell hundreds of thousands of, of burgers for exactly. twelve cents more. It adds up over days, over years, over months. And then during slow times, it's not seven thirty nine at seven, right? Or seven twenty five. And you're not you're not selling as many during those hours, so it only makes sense to come down on the price to try to get people. It's a lost loser at that point. Well, yeah, so, people know like, oh, if I go to Wendy's at two, it'll save me a couple bucks. Yeah, I honestly, like I said, I don't think it's a bad idea. I think it was pers- the rollout was just <laughs> they haven't even rolled up. it out. They just talked about it. Yeah, they said the words, and people are like, "Fuck that." <laughs> <laughs> It already hurt their brand. I bet you they're going to start losing money. People are like, F you. You got a funny social media guy, but that's it. It reminds me. Do you remember like when uh, when Xbox was like, uh, yeah, our system is going to be online only. Oh, my God. It's going to be on all the time. And people just like lost their goddamn mind. People lost their mind. And now we all have it. And we're like, yeah. It's, it's very funny, man. The thing about technology and the thing even about like change in general is that better is better. <laughs> You're not wrong. So people will gripe about technology until they adopt it. And then once they adopt it, they'll just gripe about the next thing. The next yeah, in- people, innovation. I should yeah. Say. People love to complain, man. Like, yeah. like I'm, I'm the guy who like, I like in some of it's a little jokingly, but it's a lot of serious about like everything being a smart, whatever connected to the internet. Like I don't need a smart stove. I don't need a smart TV, but like, Whatever, dude. Like, I, do I? You know, you what I mean? have like, part, one. Yeah, part you of, literally have a smart TV now. Only because the Roku is uh, now connected. Look, I don't. You don't have to. You don't have to cape. Guess what? It's okay. It's not. It's okay. It's not. No, it is okay to change. All right, you don't have to be the boomer yelling at the moon because it's brighter than it used to be in 1973. It is okay. <laughs> the boomer yelling at the moon. I'm just saying, you, you, it's okay. It's all right. You have a smart TV. You like it. It's okay. You were wrong. Now you're right. I had... No, listen. You were wrong. Listen. Now you're right. I had my smart device connected to the TV before. Why do you feel ashamed? Listen. (laughs) I'm trying to tell you there's a difference. (laughs) And now 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 I had a Roku box connected to my TV. Now the Roku is built in and I can't take it out don't even get me started on the fact that we're, we're literally talking about a roku like that that's that tells so much about your personality traits what do you mean i don't necessarily know what that means but the people at home have already made <laughs> Someone, their someone's judging my ass somebody's like this motherfucker watches a roku <laughs> no that's fine you like the cock peacock peacock you like the peacock that has nothing to do. What? I thought Roku had the peacock on it. All of them have it. I don't know. I don't fuck with every it. I every watch TV. streaming service has all of them. They all have all of them. Disney yeah, Plus. Like Amazon Fire TV still has Netflix and Roku and Peacock and Paramount Plus. Really? Roku's just a a conduit. It's like it's like. Xbox or PlayStation. No, it is not like it Xbox is. or PlayStation. It is. Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku are the same thing. What what Mario game is for fucking Roku? No, it's not video games. It's a brand of streaming option. Hulu? Hulu's on all of them. Wait, I don't get it. Apple TV. <laughs> Amazon, Amazon Fire TV. I've never messed with Amazon. Roku, they're all just a conduit to watch Hulu. Oh, it's just a and hub. It's just a it's hub. A hub. For, it's, it's a hub it's like for a, all it's of like these It's like Android or iPhone. It's, it, it's the way you put them. <laughs> it's the way you host them. It's just a hub, a meeting point for all of these streaming services to be offered to you at a price. Right. It, it's, it, it's, it is, it's the front. operating system that they run on. Uh, it's the storefront. The storefront. There yeah, we go. Exactly. Let's let's keep it a buck. Let's not give an uh, operating system in, entails that it's I probably can all ac- ran over Android anyway. I but. can access it anytime I want for free. 
uh, uh, store. Yeah, storefront is fine. I get that. It's, okay. it's the storefront. Yeah. All right, I got you. Essentially. All right. Uh, all right. All right. That's fair. Then I, I won't shame you for your Roku, but I'm going to kind of shame you for your Roku. That's fine. Only because my, but my the mom Roku asked channel is exclusive to Roku. The Roku channel? Yeah, they have free movies on it. It's what? one of the... Like Little House on the Prairie or something? I don't know. Probably trash. I don't watch it. Okay. That's what uh, the Weird Al movie was on. It was on the Roku channel. Oh, yeah. We, uh, we watched a little bit of that. It, yeah, was, that pretty was, good. Good movie. it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was funny. Yeah. I enjoyed that. So, I don't know, man. Uh... Wendy's surge pricing. I totally was like, where the hell did we start this episode? God damn, it's wild. Uh, but yeah, man, I don't know. I'm glad that they walked it back. Damage was done. It's like every time they try to do something wild, like OnlyFans is like, we're not going to have adult content anymore. And everyone's like, rah, rah, rah. And they're like. They see those dollars fly out the window. You got to think about the shareholders. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Way. Well, that's what's going to happen to Reddit. They're going to get rid of adult content once they got shareholders. <laughs> I wonder when Roku's going to lose its shareholders. Uh, they got some. They got some? Yeah, they Are you public. investing in Roku? I'm not. No, you no, no. want to, man. You know, you believe I in the product. I thought about it at one you point. You believe in the product. I like Roku. They got a nice... They got a nice... They got a nice... They like Roku. They got a nice remote. Said no kidding. human being. That was the first time those earned words have ever been uttered in the <laughs> history of mankind. I like Roku. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to thecreasetown.com for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.